Welcome back Hacks Maniacs. Today I'm gonna to show you how I added some functionality and some shade to the RSI Smart Cat on my Super Duty. Let's get started. Before I install the OVS 180 degree awning, I have to install the Smart Cat load bars. And I'm pretty sure I called every dealer in America to find the only available pair of these. I didn't want another brand because these claim the same weight limits as the Smart Cat itself. 770 pounds static and 330 pounds dynamic. Every other load bar seemed to have a lower rating or they were vague about it. The instructions from RSI tell you to pull the caps off of the ends of the rails and slide the load bars in with the nuts loosely attached, but I don't like following instructions. So I removed the nuts from the bolts that were in the load bars and then threaded those bolts into the nuts that were already on the smart cap. However, I recommend you actually do it the way that RSI tells you to do it. It would probably be much easier. Once I had the brackets attached to the cap, I went about evening up the load bars side to side. And I should mention that I also left all of these nuts just loosely tightened until I get everything figured out and then I'll go back and tighten them up. So I did the back first so that I could easily get on the tailgate and measure so that I had this even on both sides. And then I figured, well, I'll just come to the front and it'll be the same thing. It's basically a four, four and an eighth inch overhang on each side. And so I did that same thing over there. And then I got to right here and I was like, what? First, I actually thought they sent me a mismatched pair of load bars. I thought one was longer than the other one. But as it turns out, the back of the cap, at least the bars are wider than the front. Excuse me, not the bars, but the rails. The front is wider than the back. I think I might've said the back was wider than the front. Anyway, the overhang for the bars at the back is four and an eighth inch on each side. And for the front is two and five eighths inch. Let's go put the awning on now. I'll probably have to move everything based on where the brackets for the awning go. I hope the side of those bars are strong because I can say this thing is pretty hefty. This is the box O brackets. And the brackets are, I guess I have to be heavy duty. The brackets are pretty stout. Came with three brackets, obviously. I only have two bars up there. So, <laughs> hopefully that works. <laughs> yeah, that's the negative Ghost Rider. So if I have something in my incredibly well-organized drawer or extra bolts. So these M8 bolts that I found in my drawers, <laughs> you never know what you'll find in your drawers. Uh, they would work, but had I just done a little further digging, they supply you with a bunch of bolts. Based on the instructions, of course, these go to the bracket to mount to the actual awning back, but it looks like I only need four for that. So I've got extras here, so there should be enough in here actually to use. Oh, come on. Too big. It won't slide in there. Let's see if the world's finest combination sander can change that. Of course, of course. A little, a little toasty still, so my gloves on. I just had to shave just a tiny little bit off. Put that back on. mount the awning to the bracket you just slide the bolts into the back of the awning kind of mount back here and it has these nice little rubber uh, I don't know what you'd call them stops basically to keep the bolts from sliding out once you have them in uh, it's kind of a lifesaver when you're installing this
the way that this went on is kind of like the opposite of the matrix i can't show you i can only tell you <laughs> because my wife kim had to help me and she wasn't makeup up and all dolled up to be on video so i couldn't film but anyway it went on real easy and you can see where these brackets are i just have to finish tightening them up a fine line between tight and then one more turn makes it loose <laughs> let's just check this real quick uh, well it does touch it but that's not really that big of a deal time for the moment of truth no one is coming to save you that's your moment of truth. <laughs> okay, let's do this over. Not bad. Roots. Because I don't have it tight enough. Because I don't have anything really set up to tie it up. I'll fix that in the morning. It's been about a week now, actually, because I went ahead and ordered these eye bolts to fit into the load bars and I have to do some grinding on them as well to make them fit. But anyway, they're on there so that I can tie the straps for the awning onto. So let's get this thing open now and see how well this works. One thing I'll say is it's, it's a little high on the truck here. I'm six foot and my hand just barely reaches up there. The original plan was to go to this hook, but I don't think that's gonna hook it on there. So as you can see, I just hooked them both to that same ring. Going to the back one, going to the front one. Let's see if I can show that better. That actually probably works pretty well because that way you've got the same amount of force pulling on it on both ways. Instead of if I had the front one on this one pulling it that way, and the back one on that one pulling it that way. I was concerned about the drooping right here, but once I pull it tight on both sides, that droop is pretty much gone. That was just because I didn't have it tight enough. That is super nice. One thing I do notice, and it may not be a big deal, maybe it's just you know part of it. You know, obviously you have. Some, can you see how much that moves? Significant amount of movement. And my major concern, let me get up here, oh, is this bracket, which obviously everybody uses these without problems, but it sure would seem nicer if there was a, another uh, support that came right there. I mean, just that, seems like, you know, that could go if you, Hit something too rough. I don't know. It does, of course, even though it's self supporting Oh, right there on the camera. <laughs> it's got legs. Twist to tighten them. And then, you know, you can put legs around it to support it if it's windy. They do have tent wall panels. That's why there's a zipper up here that you can add to this. If you want, you can buy those separately or you can buy it as a kit initially. Whether we're just trying to find a cool spot on a fishing trip or spending the day at the beach, this shade and this 180 degree awning is gonna be a game changer. I freaking love it. And the load bars are gonna give me a lot more capability as far as, I don't know, maybe a rooftop tent, possibly. Although believe it or not, I'm actually considering taking the entire smart cap off and building my own pop-up camper to go on the back of the truck, we'll see what happens. If you wanna see how I replaced the terrific fog lights that came on this truck, watch this video right here and I'll see you next time.